Leaving on a Jet Plane is an amazing three chord song. The guitar chords we're gonna be using are G, C, and D. And if you know my two finger versions, you can use those as well for this song. This is really a lot of fun. I'm gonna show you three ways to go about playing this from probably the most simple to the most difficult. Now I should mention that we're not gonna be doing really any finger picking in this lesson. This is gonna be a simplified strumming lesson because that's my goal here. My name's Lauren Bateman and I make guitar make sense so that you can have a lot more fun playing your favorite songs just like this one. So before we get into the chord progressions for the verse and the chorus of this song, let's talk about the three different options that you can play strumming wise for this song. And you can alternate between these just because you start with one doesn't mean you have to stay on one. But for simplicity's sake, if you wanna pick one and use it for the entire thing, that's fine. So the first one is gonna be our non-syncopated pattern, which is probably the easiest and it's gonna be one, two, and three, and four, and now for those of you who don't know what syncopated means, it means there's a down strum on every down beat. One, two, three, four, we always have a down strum. So for this strumming pattern, if I play my G chord here, it's gonna be down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So it's one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, I'm leaving on a jet plane, don't know when I'll be back again. Now the second strumming pattern I'm gonna show you is a syncopated pattern, which means we're losing one of our downbeats. So it's gonna be one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and so we're eliminating the strum on the three. Now your hand is still going to do a down strum as if it's there, it's just not gonna hit the string. So it's literally almost the exact same strumming pattern I just showed you, except we don't hit the strings on the three for that down, so it'll sound like this. One, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then the third option is gonna be a slight picking pattern that you guys can use for these verses, like I said, this song, if you listen to the original, it's really intricate finger picking pattern, but we're keeping things simple here so that you can have fun with the song. So what I would recommend is doing a strum on your chord. So if we have a G chord, it would be strum down one, two, three, and four, and. So we're gonna pick the bottom three strings, strings one, two, three. So it'll be one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and So it'll sound like this. All my bags are packed and I'm ready to go. I'm standing here outside my door. I hate to wake you up to say So those are your three options. The easiest is the non-syncopated. The hardest is the picking because as you can see, I'm watching the camera. I'm not focusing on the guitar. So you're gonna have to have a lot of spatial awareness on your strings. Now the great thing that I love about leaving on a jet plane is it's mostly G and C. And for those of you who know my stuck like glue chords, if you want a really bright sound, it's a really simple transition to go from a G chord to a C add nine chord. It won't sound exactly like the song, but it's a great way to simplify things even more if you find your G to C chord change very hard. A lot of students do, that's very common. So I'm gonna do a playthrough of the song here. And if you guys wanna follow along, you can go find the lesson page on my website. Now the great thing about this song is the chord progression is G, C, G, C, G, C, D, D. It repeats that again and it does that for the chorus. Um, on, the only thing to note is on the ending of the choruses we sometimes hold that D 
for four measures because John holds this really long go. So he holds it for a long time. So if you guys need to slow this down to play along with me, you can always do the settings cog down there and slow it down. Three, all my bags are packed, I'm ready to go. I'm standing here outside your door. I ain't awake you up to say goodbye. But the dawn is breaking, it's early morn. The taxi's waiting, he's blowing his horn. I'm already so lonesome, I could die. So kiss me and smile for me. Tell me that you'll wait for me. Hold me like you'll never let me go. Cause I'm leaving on a jet plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. Oh, babe. the verse. Ready? There's so many times I let you down. So many times I've played around. I'll tell you now, they don't mean a thing. In every place I go, I'll think of you. Every song I sing, I'll sing for you. When I come back, I'll bring your wedding ring. So kiss me and smile for me. Tell me that you'll wait for me. Hold me like you'll never let me go. strumming away to this John Denver song. I have a great video on how to strum Country Road right over there. Go check out another John Denver lesson and I'll see you guys in the next video.